weakness by following the user centric model uh, you know in this project one last case study for the day when we talk about the sustainability uh, using the same triangle which is the company value and the customer value now let's replace customer for a second by the word user the argument over here is that sustainability over how we study it is all based on efficiency how efficient can i go within a given set of parameters and a set of buildings in my electrical loads in my ac loads how can i develop a program efficiency which is basically checking out some of the building area therefore build less therefore save money and how can i utilize my vacant plots which is basically another word for macro efficiency within the city realm what we were interested is to understand that how can we actually use the theory of non consumption and can and the same building can cater to more than one user by kinds of users by fusion of the program this is a this is a multi purpose hall developed for delhi technological university uh, which is uh, the example that i want to show for this kind of a, a sustainability model over here as you can see it is half seating and half sports originally it was not like that originally the client brief was that we should have actually a multi purpose hall with a flat area now the occupancy that we are looking at was 3500 people and if we do a flat hall for 3500 people the basic problem that architecture will run into is that the rear people will not be able to see the stage so mandatorily we had to go for an inclined slope which leads to the second problem that it becomes an auditorium style structure with a very little multiplicity purpose that will be embedded in the architecture so what do we do well the solution was the third section if we do half auditorium and half uh, flat area and a little i change in the plan arrangement so this is how the two functions start sitting in together the flat area could be multiplicitously used both for sports and for other kinds of congregational activities you have the permanent sitting on the rear end which has a constant exposure both towards the stage as well as the flight area and should you want to use a complete 3500 seater hall we just add the chairs the benefit that came along with that was that we were able to use every single inch of the space for 365 days 3500 seating uh, 100000 seating happens only three times in a year and for the rest of 360 years it's a wasted carbon footprint but whereas when we talk about fusing such technologies together and typologies together and innovating the technology around it we get a system a building which can be no less um, fewer than 250 days it will be utilized and therefore where you had to build two different buildings now we are fusing uh, fusing the both the structures into one and more we have you can utilize the under space for the cafeteria we have the sections which are utilizing the ahu the services go very cleanly the the scaling of the things happen and the institution gets a very flexible space where they can run more congregational spaces like symposiums science exhibitions stuff like that so the client actually gets a more lot more education based spaces where they can flexibly uh, develop uh, meeting spaces for the students so this is the project in the construction it can it, it boasts one of the largest pans in india about 30 meters in the free truss these are page, uh, pictures from the inside the recent ones as you can see how the steps are being created and the flat area being created where the sports activity can happen including the badminton which requires a very high height clearance and so the values that we bring in through this approach is we not only combine two fiber carbon footprints we also end up saving a lot of upfront capital cost and a lot of running cost in the maintenance of the structure so the earlier that was saying was that my what we are starting with in these all these three case study was the model method of innovation and bringing all the way down into the process and the product uh, two quotes i would like to uh, uh, interest over here is how do we future cast one of them which i have earlier mentioned that you can only connect the dots when you're looking backwards by the late steve jobs but another quote that pops up over here is that by the henry ford before he invented his first model t if i asked people what they wanted they would have said that we wanted faster horses not cars so what does that tell us what does that tell us innovation 
is often invisible. Just like this you know, the picture on the left side, on, on the right side, my left side, which, which shows a bulb, but the bulb is actually not there. It's a silhouette of the hand. And so when we look at the processes and we look at the product, what ought to be done is a system that actually shows the latent needs of the user. And so use model innovations, models of innovation to analyze and understand the latent needs and uncover the invisible side, which is what model innovation is all about. So as we are closing the presentation, uh, I hope you found this my system uh, you know, worthwhile in understanding. If you'd like to learn more about this system, uh, my book, uh, I've covered some of the aspects about the innovation as a gift to the fraternity members. Just You can just need to fill in, use this link and fill in your uh, details and I will ship it to you free of cost. It's www.utsavgupta.com slash book. Once again, www.utsavgupta, utsavgupta is spelled with two S, slash book.com. Or you can write to your questions to me and I'll answer them as fast as I can. This is the email ID. Thank you. All right, uh, Utsav sir, we have a question from uh, Rekha ma'am. I would be very happy if you could be on stage. Uh, it was a nice presentation. Uh, I would like to add a couple of things here. Uh, you were referring to the idea book, like ideas uh, uh, regularly that comes in. Like in, We have in our institution, like all the students are compulsorily, they'll have to have an idea book when, as and when it comes out from their mind. They, they generally record it, okay, in those. And whenever it is required, you know, like they just browse through and pick up those and they generate their uh, designs from that. That is one point. Point number two, we, we all should be, as Indians, very happy that earlier the IPRs were, we were having only 40 IPR, and now it has increased to 80. Though for this kind of a population of uh, uh, 130, uh, 130, nearly 140 uh, crore, uh, this one uh, lakhs, Crows. Uh, uh, the kind of uh, in, in IPRs are very less. We are having only 80. But then fact is, like earlier we had only 40. Now it has gone to 80. Then the other thing is like I, IPR policies as such. They uh, earlier it was not there for the design. Now it has come out for the. They have come out for the design and they have come come down with the cost also. Uh, design IPRs they come out more in terms of copyrights rather than uh, uh, patents. So that is uh, one thing. And another thing is like uh, our institute uh, has been designated as an Institute Innovation Council by the Ministry of Education. So uh, what we do is we, we come out with lot many innovations and we record it in their website. And uh, uh, apart from that, our institute has many innovation ambassadors and uh, many, now we are going into the stage of mentor mentee uh, uh, programs. So with the result, I think in course of time, uh, that innovation part of it will take off very well. However, I would like to uh, make my point, like uh, uh, I have my paper uh, okay, uh, uh, on this particular innovation and innovation diffusion. So uh, that's it. Thank you, sir. Oh, no, you can, you can take this. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That was architect Utsav Sir amongst us. Thank you, sir. And like Utsav Sir mentioned, if you want a free copy, it's absolutely free, so you can log into his website. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, amongst us, we had the legends, and we have the legends of architects. May I kindly request Sri Krishnarao Jessam Sir to kindly please come over on stage, as we would be very happy to felicitate you. With a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, legends of architects, Sri Krishna Rao Jason Sir. Also to felicitate, may I kindly request all our chief guests and guest of honor to please come over on stage. May I request Dr. Professor Dr. Architect Chandran Rekha Jetty, ma'am, to please come over on stage. Mr. Amin Nair, sir, to please come over on stage. Mr. Utsav Gupta, sir, to please come over on stage. And also Architect Abhishek, to please come over on stage. Also, ladies and gentlemen, our second guest of honor, may I kindly request Architect 
Head seat, Timaya, sir, to please come over on stage. It's our, indeed, our pleasure that you are a part of this event to grace this morning. Two legends of architect. Ladies and gentlemen, with a round of applause, I want you people to welcome the legends of architects. Yes, when I say a round of applause, it means both your hands going together and you give a round of applause. Indeed, it's a pleasure that you are here to grace the Architecture Excellence Awards and Conference 2021 presented by Big Enough Research Intelligence Private Limited. And this is your very own host, Fauzia P. Khan. And amongst us, we have our wonderful speakers. I would request you to felicitate our chief, chief guest, ma'am. Architecture Excellence Awards and Conference 2021, Architect H. C. Timaya, sir. And like I always mention, no introduction to Sri Jessim Krishna Rao, sir. I would request you to please kindly stay back on stage. Thank you, sir. Hey, up, uh, I want you to please stay back with me. Isn't this an honor, Dr. G? I got the shawl. That means I'm definitely going to do something in my life. Yes, with all your blessings. Ladies and gentlemen, Krishna Rao Jessim is an architect and a former chairman of the Indian Institute of Architects, Karnataka chapter. His work has been featured in the New York Times, the Hindu, the Times of India, the Deccan Herald, and on HGTV. Krishna Jessim sir attended Madras Christian College School 1960 batch. He completed his university education in architecture in 1966 from Madras University. From 1966 to 1970, he worked with the architectural firm of L.M. Chaitel and Sons. Madras in 1970, inspired by Ayn Rand's novel, The Fountain Head. He started an architecture practice under the name of Jessim Fountainhead. The practice grew from 1970 to 1975, winning a national competition for the Cochin Stadia, President's nomination for the Small Industries Pavilion and the Taj Fisher's Cove. From 1975 to 1980, the firm began working overseas and ventured into other areas of building, such as the import and distribution of building materials, running and scheduled contracts and running a stone crusher in fabrication unit. In 1980, he returned to India and settled in Namma, Bengaluru. Ladies and gentlemen, with a round of applause, we have Krishna Rao, Sri Krishna Rao Jaisam, sir, amongst us. Indeed, it's our pleasure. Over to you, sir. Namaskars to one and all of you here. Thanks, Sonia and Anand, my wonderful little girl here, to introduce me and to the great honor of all these prestigious people in front and the whole of the right ideas here. I know these are fascinating COVID times. I didn't know I had to make a talk. I said I would come because, you know, I can't hold the utility. Good 
Is it all right? I can't sing with these lights. Why do you want these lights? I re reduce these lights. Reduce even more. Yeah, I can now see people there. Otherwise, I'm just blind. Thank you very much. I wear these glasses to avoid the glare. Now I find the glare, but it's beautiful. When they said it's a Taj Western, when they invited me over here, I never say no to Western because one of my earliest visits to Western knows about it. It's here because of me. It all happened when I was doing the fisherman's call. And then a little earlier, when Mr. Mudalia invited his son, the old man passed away, one of the richest people in the country passed away. His son came running to me. I don't know how he found me, because I was with Chitale and son, and had just taken off and started my own practice. He said, sir, can I talk to you? I said, a little boy. I said, what do you want? I said, I don't know what to do with the property that I have from my parents and father. I said, where is it? I said, it's, uh, she, he said, it's in Bangalore. I said, anyway, I'm going to Bangalore to visit my grandfather, parents, and other things. My wife was working the State Bank of India here. And the Bangalore race course had also asked me to redesign the race course because I loved horses. Anyway, I came down here, saw this beautiful property. I walked around, went around the place. Then I didn't know at the time that I was working with Jeffrey Barber on the Spencer's Hotel and along with him in Madras when Spencer said, no, no, this property belongs to us. We are going to come around here. So Spencer's came here and Western came here. Like, luckily for us, over from adjustments and little this way, that way for over a couple of years, we were thinking of building guest houses here, not for the Taj, for their own Mudalia family. When another architect, a great lady, came and said, yes, I am the architect for the Taj. Yes, I said, you are, because you are a different group. You have done them projects here. Yeah. But so whenever I come here, I enjoy walking around here. It's nothing like what it was. We bit the underground from this next place to the race course to see and the racing was bang and breathe on. It's a fascinating journey. An architect's journey is a fascinating one. It may not earn much money, but it earns tremendous joy. Another sense which I would like to clarify with you is, I don't know what you people talk about innovation. To me, every minute of my life and my practice is innovation. If there is no innovation in my project in the next, I do not do it. The clients are not clients. My elephant is my client, my dog is my client. My little bee at home is my client. The only client I find it very difficult to interact is not even my wife, but my daughter. She is my most, what you call as the most challenging client I've ever met. And the grandchildren are even more challenging. The fascination part of this profession is, you don't need BIM, I did in 1962 or 64, I studied BIM. I didn't know what the hell it was. Chitla made me go study it for some time. Only thing I do is I put it in the bin. The next thing that happens is there is no such thing as material in architecture. There is only the mind. Because we architects do nothing. What do we do? I, at least these people sketch. I don't even sketch. People paint. They paint. I don't even drop perspectives. I do nothing. But it is that nothing that is everything. I know nothing. To be very honest, after I get out from here, I'll forget everything. Because the only way you can create is to forget. Totally. Not forgive. And somebody said about talking about mistakes. Mistakes are the greatest of architecture. If you don't commit mistakes, you are not at all an architect. You're only a designer or an engineer or one of those other professions. Architecture is the only mistake. When I put the brick and when I put the space, then I see, boy, what's happening? 
the little ant out there, I'm really talking, walks around and says, I was here before you. Something happens. The snake was there before me. Something happens. The neighbors were way before the houses we do. Just because you asked me to talk about it, I'm talking about it. I don't want to take too much of your time for these generations. I believe the future of architecture is phenomenal. It's unbelievable. There may be 700 schools of architecture now, taking each school class to be about 30 or 60. The architecture is perhaps one of the few professions which can profess into any other area of life. Without an architect, without spaces of melamines and senses, there is no life in the human being. What is the point? There is also the thing when people talk about sustainability. I don't understand the word. I don't understand the green. I may wear green pants and green shirts. That's about all I know. But what is sustainable? I don't know. Should it remain tomorrow? I don't want my building tomorrow. I don't want it to be there at all. I want the other person to put a new project there, new space there. How can I design for the future when I'm, not, I'm only the present from the past? I can't. Look at all the future cities, so-called future cities that have been designed. Every one of them is an utter failure. Utter failure. At the point I'll touch you is, about two years back, I was in Huang, in China. I didn't know. Only thing, it was a beautiful place. I loved walking around it. There were a lot of Indians, a lot of people. And suddenly the management came to me and said, you have to take the first flight out of here. They didn't tell me a single thing. Then I called my other friends who were with me. We were put on a special flight, flown away, given a break somewhere in between either Bangkok or Hong Kong, I don't know, we stayed for even there. They kept us quietly separated. I didn't know, we were enjoying. We went to the magic courses and circus courses all outside. Then when we came back here, they made us forget we were in Huang, came back here. After I landed up, the few airport authorities came to me, but they said, were you there? I said, yes, but that was more than a week back. I said, oh, we spent a week outside somewhere else. Okay, you can clear. Otherwise, you will be in contact confined to a space. I learned that the COVID had broken up. Then I understood another word which I want you to share with you. Normally I don't share this. We are spending huge volumes of money on physical warfare. Physical warfare is gone. This is not, COVID is nothing but a biological warfare by a few hardcore people who brought it together on us. They have put us all in total fear. Show me one person who doesn't wear. I tried wearing no masks. I said, I'm sitting alone. They said, no. That's why I shifted off to my little retirement space and said, I don't want anybody else with me. For your sake, I'll wear a mask. But for my sake, I don't need one. The fact is that we are ruled by a biological fear that's on us. This is why I'm happy that lots of interactions is happening to grow beyond this in the world of design and architecture. Design is very disciplined, architecture is not. It's over-disciplined. You must understand this word here. That's why I like some of the subjects when you said big enough and go forward. I said, yes, I'll be happy to interact with you all. I'm happy to spend some time with you all. There were a lot of other points that come to my mind through the 60 years of being in this profession and more, and doing hundreds and thousands of papers and presentations. And every time you come on the stage, it is fresh and new. Why are we doing it? Because human beings have to learn. Human beings have to achieve, have to promote, have to go forward. The one profession that can lead them to better styles of life, better ways of life, better ways of finding things, is the world of architecture. But very, very, very few understand it. I'm sure all of you agree that any place, any client, anybody you meet, Everybody thinks he or she is a great architect. That's the problem. Anybody can venture into our profession. Can I go cut a body and cut a, like a surgeon does? Can't. That's why we're trying to complex our profession. It's not easily understood. We are into a very fascinating future. 
But understanding architecture is not easy. At its depth and perspective, understanding the senses and the elements and fusing them into million combinations every day is a huge adventure. Architecture is an adventure. Some of you make it wild with me when I say the first thing that should be done is not to have schools of architecture at all. It's a waste of time. It's nice to go there if you want to spend those three hours, four hours, meeting your girlfriend or boyfriend and walking around going, I never studied for five years, to be very honest. To tell you the point, because you're many of you, I don't know how many of you are architects here. Everyone that has won the international award or a gold award or a lifetime achievement for me were designs which I did in my initial years in architecture which were failed by the professors then. I deliberately built them later. Every one of them. Not that I, my mother would put, because my grandfather I understood was an architect, but he was a colonial architect. That's why I was put there. Otherwise, I would have loved to play cricket. I knew all these present fellows. I could have made millions. And so sitting and becoming a, an architect. But once I joined and understood this profession in a very different way, it's an adventure I can never, never forget. It's an adventure I can never, never. It's only materials like I asked Yang, I don't see many Yang architects, probably they're hearing. When a material supplier gives you a material, he has no idea what he's done. He simply brings you a material. And he says, this is a panel. I said, it's not a panel, it's just a material. Let me then innovate to bring an imagination to create something out of it. That is architecture. Otherwise, you're only a professional engineer or a doctor or a lawyer or an auditor. The people kill this. That is where the exhibition of expression becomes very important. The other great thing is, as I said, sustainability and green, the word that I'm trying to learn. Unfortunately, fortunately, my card is still green for 50 years. My buildings, many of them stand. Only I go and break them up and change. Tell me which other profession allows its arts to be changed by somebody else. Whereas us, the moment you step out of the building, next day it's modified, recolored, replastered, redone. That is architecture. You are entering into a field, you're moving into a field of unbelievable things. I and I admire this organization to go beyond lines, to commend people, to give them a sense of encouragement. It makes a lot of sense. That sense of encouragement is necessary. But I would also be very, I won't say, I'm not a very cautious person except my age now, my eyesight and senses. I, can't, I would love to climb this building and see what's happening. I can't physically do it. The mind can do it. The film, this is where the virtual reality of building and projects are all there. But can I create them in reality? I would like adventures to happen on the moon and the space and outside. That is the future of architecture. Go underground. I just heard while coming down to the train that they want to close the collar gold fields. I really shocked. I used to walk in those mines, beautiful adventures I used to have as a child. And when I grew up, up to a particular level, I'm talking about 60s and 70s, they are fantastic. We should use the opportunity to create new spaces and new expressions. I always want to also want to touch before I close up in another area. The urban cities are under collapse or not collapse, don't worry about it. Start looking at third and fourth level villages and units. That is where the future is. Convert them, move them, interact with them. I now, if I give an opportunity, I only go on design projects outside. I find the farmer and the villager of unbelievable knowledge in space and time. They can talk to you, they can talk to that material. They, if you, I, my one client, somebody was talking about the elephant. You wouldn't believe that the elephant teaches me architecture. I thought he would, he said, sir, come and touch it. He touched it and moved it. I said, what elephant? No, sir, it's a wild elephant. It also knows you. It's not my elephant. That is why when I moved to Suvida, where I stay, the old lady staying behind me in another cottage, morning comes up and says, there's some very nice of you to put me in this cottage. I said, why? Do you know something? The leopard walked across. She's not even afraid. We were all scared. It has broken, the elephant has broken the wall, the leopard has entered, one battalion came, moved them, and then when I walk out of my cottage, my wife says, see what's going there. I didn't see a beautiful cobra dancing away. 
That is nature at its maximum. Every point of nature can teach you architecture. But only the human brain can innovate and create beyond. An ant builds an ant house, a snake builds a snake house, whatever it is, each one of them is a The human brain can build beyond unimaginable, unfortunately. We build the same thing again and again and again. That is the sadness of modern architects. 99.9% .9 architects are not architects. They're just in the building profession. I'm very sad to say it, but I'm also happy to say architecture is not for everyone. Architecture is for somebody who appreciates like the art and the sciences of very delicacy. I'm speaking only one language in English, and that to the first letter of a few letters. How much, how many more languages are there? Yet, you need the language of expression. You just can't use some alphabets and say, I know 26 alphabets, or 30 characters of Tamil, or Hindi, or Kannada. You have to have the expression creation to do it. That is architecture. That is where this space becomes something of timelessness. It exists in space and time. If it exists in space and time, and then continues to express beyond itself, in the future, you will find your life unbelievable. I wish, I thank you all for patiently listening to me for this. I don't want to take your time. I'm trying to see what I should do next, or what, where, which adventure, which area to go on next. But to me, it's an endless adventure of timelessness, silence, and patience, and of learning and learning and learning. And thank you very much. Namaskars to each one of you. Wish you a great journey in your life and in your perspectives. Namaskars. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I want all of you to please give a standing ovation for our very own legend of architects, ladies and gentlemen, Sri Krishnarao Jaisen Sir. Thank you so much, sir. All right, so finally, we are here. And we begin with something where you all have achieved. When you work hard, there is that you should be recognized for it. And here we are from Big Enough Intelligence Private Limited. I would request all of you to kindly give a round of applause for yourself as you will be recognized for the work that you have been doing. To each and every one of you who has graced this wonderful day with your presence, our chief guests, our speakers, and everybody who is a part of this wonderful event. And this is your very own host, Fawzia P. Khan. And like I mentioned, that we are going to go for awards and recognition. Ladies and gentlemen, Architecture Excellence Awards and Conference 2021 presented by Big Enough Research Intelligence Private Limited. To give away the award, may I kindly invite on stage and I would request the Head of Designs, Bonito Designs, Mr. Gabriel Gill has 25 plus years of experience in design, development and delivery of projects around the world. His works spans 20 countries, including Morocco, Libya, Saudi Arabia, Spa Spain, Egypt, Mexico, UAE, Argentina, Bulgaria, Puerto Rico, Cuba, and Qatar. Trust me, I don't even know a few of the countries, but we are indeed honored to have you amongst us. May I kindly request, with a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, the head of Bonito Designs, Mr. Gabriel Gill, to give away the awards to all our young and talented architects amongst us. At that note, may I also call our speaker, Mr. Architect Mohammed Amir Nayar to give away the awards and I would request you to please come over on stage, sir. With a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, may I, may I request you people to kindly increase, uh, you know, give me a tempo to my mic. Thank you. I would request you to please come here, sir. with that same charming smile and you you people look handsome yes yes it's got <laughs> yes it's got to do with the hairstyle though <laughs> okay
Okay, on that note, the funny note that we have, and I would be very happy to call upon our first very awardee, Ram Kumar Pichamani. May I please request you, with a round of applause, to please come over on stage from Studio Ram Architects, most promising architecture and interior firm of the year, 2021. Shipping, container, setup, assembly and interiors category from Milnadu. to receive the award, may I kindly request Sivaraman Aru Arunachalam to please come around stage to receive your award with a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, from the company Design Infinity, leading and creative architecture and interior design firm of the year, from Tamil Nadu, residential projects, hospitality and commercial projects. Congratulations to you, Mr. Sivaraman. Congratulations, you look handsome. All right. So the very next awardee to receive this award, may I kindly request and welcome architect Anupam Mahajan, hybrid space design, most promising and innovative architecture and interior design firm of the year from Telangana Residential Projects, sustainable design approach in commercial projects. Ladies and gentlemen, the Punjabi in the house, may I please welcome architect Anupam, Anupam Mahajan ji on stage. Yes. this is your very own host right so it is my duty to tell you that while somebody comes over on stage to receive an award it is an achievement for them it is it is a feeling that they have been recognized for the hard work that they have done and when you are not applauding right so that that applaud it will encourage them to do more and to do better for your own industry. So architecturing and art is an industry. So all of you under this roof has done wonderful and amazing job. So when you recognize each other's work and when you appreciate, it is nothing like it to be a family and to build more in life, right? So on that note, a round of applause for all of you. And I would request you guys to please, please, uh, whenever whoever is here on stage to receive the award, kindly give a round of applause, yes? And with all that Josh and energy, Yes, one last thing, I'll do this. How's the judge, guys? How's the judge? When I say how's the judge, you say 
Hurry, okay, or hi, whatever, whatever you are comfortable of. Okay, how's the Josh, guys? How's the Josh? How's the Josh? Okay, so we're going to keep this Josh together, and on that note, our very next awardee to receive the award, may I kindly request on stage, Mr. Architect Branish Arvinath, to please come over on stage from Design Obsession Studio, most promising architecture and interior firm of the year 2021, from Tamil Nadu for his 3D visualization residential projects and commercial projects. Ram Prakash T.S. from Parikalpana to please come over on stage. Most promising and upcoming architecture and interior design firm of the year 2021 from Karnataka for his residential projects. Congratulations with uh, that charming smile on your face. I would be very happy to see you smiling and receiving the award. And to my lovely audience, there we go. Yadli Shri Nath to please come over on stage to receive your award. Shri Amar, Amar, uh, Amravati Architects and Engineer, leading and promising architecture and engineer firm of the year 2021 from Andhra Pradesh, sir, with a, with a smile on your face for his quality service and execution. Architect Anirudh N and Architect Jitin R. Jain to please come over on stage. The team from J Plus a Design Studio, most promising, futuristic, and innovative architecture and interior design firm of the year 2021 community projects and retail projects. Congratulations. to receive their award architect Amir Suhail Taj from Atsply Lab Architects upcoming and a promising architecture and design firm of the year 2021 from Tamil Nadu for his residential projects and commercial projects. What a combination. Congratulations to you. Finally smiled for that picture. Yes. <laughs> All right. So on that note, the very next awardee on stage, ladies and gentlemen, may I please invite architect Subin and architect Ripin as a team for Avishka Designers, upcoming and creative architecture and interior design firm of the year 2021 from Kerala, to please come over on stage to receive your award for residential projects and commercial projects. Congratulations to you, sir. Thank you and congratulations. 
congratulations to the team. Thank you, sir. On that note, may I kindly request architect uh, Gautam Raj uh, C. Nivasan Gun to please come around stage from Kirky Designs, the architects and consultants promising and outstanding architecture and interior design firm of the year 2021 from Tamil Nadu to receive your award for the residential projects and commercial projects. And the very next architect to receive his award, architect Babu Raju VR from Abhilash Architects, top and most innovative architecture and design firm of the year 2021 from <laughs> India. <laughs> Healthcare projects and commercial projects to receive your award, sir. Congratulations, sir. Our very next award, you to receive the award, architect Soumya Kumar, Om Architecture, most promising and creative architect and designer of the year 2021 from Tamil Nadu, innovative design and approach and residential projects. With a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, we have this beautiful, elegant, dressed in this beautiful sari, ladies and gentlemen, may I please welcome architect Soumya Kumar to receive her award. their award architect Nikhil Dave VN and Kaushik Abhinav to please come over on stage Dave and Kaushik architects most promising creative design architecture and design firm of the year from Telangana to receive the award for institutional projects and residential projects with a round of applause these two young architects coming on stage to receive the award you guys look nice handsome <laughs> Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, to receive the very next awardee, Pradeep Nibhatkar, unique designers, outstanding interior design and turnkey projects from from of the year 2021 from Maharashtra for the commercial and residential projects. With a round of applause, may I please welcome him? Ajinkyo, who's going to be receiving the award. So, because he's not here, he still deserves this round of applause. So, Ajinkyo will be like, you know who's my father? Hey, no? Pradeep Ji, you Congratulations to your father. All right, ladies and gentlemen, may I please welcome architect Nitin Mirajkar, Mirajkar Architects and Interior for inspiring architecture and interior design firm of the year 2021 from Karnataka for the residential and commercial projects. With a round of applause.
architect Sanampreet Singh work, Generative Architectural Design Studio for the most promising and creative architecture and interior design firm of the year from Haryana, basically they are Punjabis, <laughs> in the house for the residential projects to please come over on stage to receive your awards. Architectural Design Studio. Ladies and gentlemen, may I kindly request and welcome the awardee Ajmal Shah Bashir for Soham Architects from Promising and Emerging Architecture and Interior Design 2021 from Kerala to receive their award for residential projects and commercial projects. All right, he isn't amongst us, but yes, he deserves a round of applause right after this awardee. May I kindly request architect Raj Kumar from Straight Wall Architects to please kindly come over on stage. That is the gentleman behind, okay, walking. <laughs> kindly give him a round of applause for upcoming and promising architecture and design firm of the year 2021 from Tamil Nadu for residential projects. Congratulations to you, sir. Okay, uh, so what I'm quickly going to do is... Uh, to pre-announce who's going to be next so you people are ready so if you're somewhere behind it's easier for you to come in front and stand and to save more time for pictures and the other things all right ladies and gentlemen the very next Awardee to receive the award. Thank you. What would I do without Eventex? All right, ladies and gentlemen, the very next awardee to receive the award, may I kindly request and invite architect Hashim Ahmed Khan from Hashu Associates for promising an upcoming architecture and interior design firm of the year 2021 from New Delhi residential projects and commercial projects. Congratulations, Khansa. I would request Priyanka Chaudhary ji to please be ready. architect Priyanka Chaudhary from Prospective Design's most creative and innovative architecture and design firm of the year 2021 from North India. Oh my god, she looks stunning, stunning. Give her a round of applause. Being an architect and carrying herself in fashion is totally elegant. For her retail projects and F&B unit projects, congratulations to you ma'am. May I kindly request architect Shaji to please be ready. Architect Sumi, congratulations to you, ma'am. Architect Shaji and Architect Ma'am to please come over on stage to receive your award. S Squared Architects Private Limited, most innovative and promising architecture and landscape and interior design firm of the year from Kerala to receive your award for residential projects and commercial projects. Congratulations to you, sir. Architect R. Atlin to please be ready and Rajiv Kumar Sharma, Gaurav Das and Arvind Kumar to please be ready. Congratulations team, God bless you. Okay, so we have architect R. Atlin from Lee Arc, outstanding and creative architecture and interior design firm of the year 2021 from South India, hospitality projects and commercial projects. Congratulations to the team. You guys look wonderful as a team. Next 
architect we have amongst us, Rajiv Kumar Sharma, architect Gaurav Das and architect Arvind Kumar for Design House Solutions Private Limited for most innovative architecture and design firm of the year 2021, group housing projects, institutional projects and commercial projects. Congratulations to the team. And that is the smile that I'm looking for. Yes, all of you should be inspired that, by that. Congratulations to the, you, sir. Yes, architect Sri Devi Sri Ram to kindly come over on stage from Hierarchy, architect and interior designer, most in, inspiring and outstanding architecture and interior design firm of the year 2021 from Tamil Nadu for green buildings and residential projects and commercial projects. May I kindly request architect Sri Devi Sri Ram to come over on stage. Please raise your hand. Sir, is that you? Oh, you look handsome. Sri Devi ma'am isn't amongst us, but yes, uh, the gentleman, the handsome gentleman from the team from uh, Hierarchy Architect is here to receive the award. Congratulations to the team. And with a round of applause. Gentlemen, architect Jwalant Mahadevala and architect Kanika Mahadevala to please come over on stage to receive your award and you guys look beautiful together. And Black Design Studio for leading and most creative architecture and design firm of the year 2021 from Gujarat for uh, art installation, commercial projects and premium residential projects. Gujaratis came to if I'm right. Yes. <laughs> yes. May I kindly request uh, Gautami Lok Lokerev to please come over on stage from Lokerev Design Private Limited, most promising emerging architect and designer firm of the year 2021 from Telangana residential projects and commercial projects. Congratulations to you, ma'am. You look beautiful. Nagraj S, Artishur, emerging and promising architecture and interior design firm of the year 2021 from Tamil Nadu for their residential projects and commercial projects. Architect Mohammed Amin Nair, sir, and architect Mr. Gabriel Gill, sir, from Bonita Designs. Thank you so much. Indeed, it's a pleasure that you were a part to give away the awards. Thank you so much. And yes, like I mentioned, my client actually says, "Thoda hi restrict karna," but I bolti hu ki aap log taaliyan baja hi lena jab koi upar aata hai. ठीक है, please. All right, to give away the next set of awards, may I kindly request and invite on stage. Shri Krishna Rao Jaisim sir and Shri Hetsi Timaya sir to please come over on stage to give away the award with a round of applause.
and may I kindly invite Sri Kant Venkatesh from Eco Ecomini Studio for most promising and upcoming architect of the year 2021 from Karnataka for creative approach and quality project execution. Congratulations to you, sir. to receive your award for 100 Ants Design Studio leading an innovative architecture and design firm of the year 2021 from Maharashtra for the premium residential projects and commercial projects. With a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the team of 100 Ants Design Studio. <laughs> architect Chinmay Hutar to please be ready and architect Ashok Patel to please be ready. To receive the very next award, may I kindly request architect Ashchinmay Ash Uddar and ID Vrinda Satarkar to please come over on stage from Intra Design Studio, outstanding creative architecture and interior design firm of the year 2021 from Maharashtra for the residential projects and commercial projects. Congratulations to you, sir. Ashok Patil to receive your award. May I kindly request you to come over on stage for Corridor Architects and Interior Designers from Most Promising Architecture and Design Firm of the Year 2021 from Karnataka for the residential projects and commercial projects. to please be ready. Dr. Anurag Kashyap to please be ready. Congratulations to you, sir. May I kindly request Professor Architect Mahesh Rameshwar Bangar to please be ready from BNCA Pune for outstanding contribution in educational domain. Congratulations to you, sir, from architecture and design projects. Dr. Anurag Kashyap from MKSSS apostrophe S, Dr. B in College of Architecture for Women, top and most innovative, promising in architecture college of the year 2021 from Maharashtra for the quality, education, women empowerment and innovative teaching and approach. stage architect Raghu and architect Bindu from MS Earthen Hive Architects for most creative and eco-friendly architecture and interior design firm of the year 2021 from Maharashtra for the quality edu for from Karnataka for the sustainable projects residential and commercial projects congratulations to you ma'am Ishwargeni, Ishwargeni Architects, top and most innovative architecture and design firm of the year 2021 from India to give to receive the award for their hospitality, township and commercial projects. Congratulations to the team. Yes, with a round of applause, let's congratulate the team, ladies and gentlemen. May 
I kindly request Mohammed Amin Nair sir and uh, Sheikal Amna Nair ma'am from ANA Design Studio Private Limited for best and most innovative architecture and design firm of the year 2021 for institutional projects and commercial projects. Congratulations to you sir. the architect Pramod Sig Sigavi and architect Naveen Chandrasekhar from Paramatics, an outstanding and promising architecture and interior design firm of the year 2021 from Karnataka for the residential projects and commercial projects. With a round of applause. <laughs> Raghavendra Hegde and Anup Naik to please come over on stage to receive your award from Urban Frame Private Limited, best and most creative architecture and most master planning and design company of the year for township projects and institutional and corporate projects. With a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Congratulations to you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, to receive the very next award, may I kindly request and welcome on stage architect Manjula Sumashekhar from Pragati Associates, best and innovative architecture interior design firm of the year 2021. With a round of applause. Next award, may I kindly request architect Alex Jacob, Alex Jacob Consultancy, architect top and most innovative architecture and design firm of the year 2021 from Karnataka for the residential projects, hospitality and commercial projects. With a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jacob Consulting Architect. Congratulations to you, sir. Award, may I kindly request Professor Dr. Architect Chandran Rekha Jetty Ma'am from Nitti School of Architecture, Planning and Design, Bengaluru, for outstanding contribution in educational domain and innovative approach. With a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, the lady who has inspired me today with uh, so many achievements. May I kindly give you this mic, Ma'am? On this day, uh, I, I don't want to forget any of those people who were responsible for my growth, 
my parents, my teachers, my fellow colleagues, my uh, faculty who have been always holding the ladder for me and they have been, uh, you know, uh, food for my brain. And here my special thanks to especially Dr. Gayatri who is really a food for my brain. She has held the entire ladder at the bottom so that I climb up. Thank you, Gayatri, and thank you, everybody. Indeed, ladies and gentlemen, it is a pleasure to have Professor Dr. Architect Chandran Rekha Jetty, ma'am, amongst us with so many wonderful achievements that you have, ma'am. With a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, the women of achievements. Prakash Agarwal, Agarwal and Agarwal, the leading and outstanding architecture and design firm of the year 2021 for their commercial projects, premium residential projects and hospitality projects and we are witnessing this wonderful day with Architectural Excellence Awards in Conference 2021 presented by Big Enough Research Intelligence Private Limited and this is your very own host Fazia P. Khan. May I kindly request Jay Prakash Agarwal to please come over on stage to receive your award and he isn't amongst us so I would request you guys to give him a round of applause. with our very next awardee, architect Mrs. Kelkar Shobha, uh, Shobhan Sadhan to please come over on stage to receive your award from uh, State Srimati Kashibai Nava Naveel College of Architecture, Pune to receive your award for outstanding contribution in educational and research domain for architecture and design category. Congratulations to you ma'am and you look beautiful and ele elegant with this blue color, cross blue, very vibrant. To receive the very next set of award, may I kindly request architect Ajinkya Nipankar to please come over on stage from Srimati Kashibai Naveel College of Architecture, Pune to receive your award for excellence, performance in educational domain and innovative teaching approach. And you're back again with a round of applause. Ajin Kya, ladies and gentlemen, for architecture and design firm. smile on your face. It suits you. It suits all of us. So ladies and gentlemen, to receive the very next set of award, may I kindly request Mahesh Krishna Chari and architect Kamlesh Pohikar to please come over on stage from Vivra Architecture, top and most innovative architecture and engineering construction of the year from the most innovative architects and design firm of the year 2021 for healthcare projects, institutional projects and commercial projects. And I would request the team from Creators Architects to please come over on stage to receive your award. Late Rajiv Gupta, Architect Mukta Gupta and Architect Utsav Gupta to please come over on stage. On behalf of the entire team, we have Architect Utsav Gupta ji from Creators Architects to receive the award for Innovative Architecture and Design Firm of the Year 2021 and Promising Outstanding Architecture and Firm of the Year 2021 from healthcare projects, institutional projects and commercial projects. Congratulations to you, sir. Indeed, it's a pleasure to have you. And to receive the very next set of award, may I kindly request architect Ashwin V.S. from Divine Design Bengaluru to please come over on stage for the architecture and interior design firm of the year 2021 from Karnataka for the premium projects to receive your award. Set 
of all, congratulations to you, sir. You look dapper and dashing, and you're an architect. What a combination of everything together, all of you out here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, to receive the very next set of award, may I kindly request architect Kalyan Reddy Ichula to please come over on stage to receive your award from Studio Infinity LLP for outstanding architecture and interior design firm of the year from Telangana, Telangana for their high-rise premium residential projects and creative design approach. May I kindly hear a round of applause for my wonderful energetic audience. And we are here with Architecture Excellence Awards and Conference 2021 presented by Big Enough Research Intelligence Private Limited and I am your very own host for Zafi Khan. To receive the very next set of awards, may I kindly request Kashif Hassan from TCA Consultants Private Limited to please come over on stage, sir. Indeed, it's our pleasure and you look handsome. Top and most innovative architecture and interior design, engineering and design firm of the year 2021 from South India for the township projects and commercial projects. Congratulations to you, sir. I'm sure you, get, you all are enjoying being a part of this and we are indeed pleasure to have you. And we have some more awards to give. Yes, we have some more awards to give. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the very next set of awardee we to receive the award, Savitsa Satya Prasad from NSG Design and Construction to please come forward to receive your award and trust me ma'am, I was just eyeing on you all the time I was sitting over there with this beautiful red that you wear. With a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, Savitya Satya Prasad, ma'am, architect, to receive her award for most creative residential bungalow of the year 2021 from Karnataka for innovative design approach. All right, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to you, ma'am. Give a round of applause to the beautiful architect we have, Savitya Satya Prasad. Architect Muzamil Hashim and Architect Komal Manda Menda to please come over on stage to receive your award for a design bulwark, promising and most innovative architecture and design firm of the year 2021. Okay, she isn't amongst us, they aren't amongst us, but we are going to give them a round of applause for the category Hospitality Projects, Residential Projects and Commercial Projects. want to great all right uh, you all look really energetic and like i mentioned you are here to witness architecture excellence awards and conference 2021 and this is your very own host Fazia Pekan. indeed it's my pleasure to present you all from big enough research intelligence private limited we are going to have 40 under 40 architects to receive their awards and i would request all of you to get that energy together and like i mentioned the time is exactly 2.10 and uh, this is your very own host, Fazia P. Khan. And I want you guys to get both your hands together and give a round of applause for yourself as we witness this wonderful day of Architecture Excellence Awards and Conference 2021.
award. May I kindly request 40 under 40. I want you guys to please know this, that when you come here to receive your 40 under 40 award, you will be coming receiving the award and you stand behind our legend architects, yes? So may I kindly request Priyanka Chaudhary from Prospective Designs to please come over on stage to receive your award. And we have architect Pramod Sikhav from Paramatics to please come over on stage to receive your award. And to my lovely audience that side, like I mentioned, please taliyan bajate rahiye. May I kindly request architect Utsav Gupta sir from Creators uh, Architects to please come over on stage to receive your award. Designs to please come over on stage to receive your award. Architect Sumi Shachi from S Squared Architects to please come over on stage to receive your award. Sir, I would request you to please come here. Yes. All right, 40 under 14 Best Architects 2021 presented to Architect Chin Mai Hoddar for Intro Design Studio. I would request all of you to please come one by one, architect Kanika Mahadevwala and Black Design Studio. Architect Ashwin VS Divine Design Bengaluru to please come over on stage to receive your award. And while you come, kindly please collect your award from their income. Nitin Mirajka, Mirajka Architects and Interiors to please come over on stage to receive your award. To all of you out there, I'm sure you guys are enjoying and you are having this wonderful time with us. May I kindly request architect Swarali Satev from 100 Dance and Design Studio to please come over on stage to receive your award. Swarali, congratulations to your wife and you together. to be maintaining social distance but kindly just for the picture quickly you, go, you all can just come in yes thank you and there we go ladies and gentlemen architecture and excellence awards and conference 2021 presented by big enough research intelligence private limited and we do have our 40 under 40 architects who's been receiving their award Yes, I want all of you to give me that charming smile, yeah? So you all, all are really happy to receive this award. Congratulations to you all. Congratulations. set of award we want you to be here so you can grace the picture for all these young architects I'm here right right next to you so <laughs> okay architect uh, Jwalant Mahadevwala and Black Design Studio to please come over on stage to receive your award my kindly have architect Kamlesh Podekar Devra Architecture to please come over on stage to receive your award Architect Srikant Venkatesh for Eco, Eco Mini Studio to please come over on stage to receive your award. Architect Ark Akhilin to please come over on stage to receive your award from Le Ark. Architect Anirudh NH J Plus a Design Studio to please come over on stage to receive your award. Jadan R. Jain. Plus designs to please come over on stage to receive your award. 
May I kindly request architect Naveen Chandrasekhar from Paramatics to please come over on stage to receive your award. Architect Shaji Vempan uh, Nadan from S Squared Architects to please come over on stage to receive your award. Architect Anupam Mahajan from Hybrid Space Design to please come over on stage to receive your award. Kindly receive your awards from there. Architect Sivaraman Arunachalam to please come over on stage to receive your award from Design Infinity. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the entire 40 under 40 best architects 2021 presented by Big Enough Research Intelligence Private Limited. And I want you all to give a round of applause for all these wonderful awardees. Please come in and give a charming, charming smile. Yes, Mr. Naveen. gentlemen the very next set of awards that we have is the special category award from big enough research intelligence private limited and you are witnessing live and physically the architecture excellence awards in conference 2021 and this is your very own host Fazia P Khan and amongst us we have the legends of architect H.C. Timaya sir and Sri Krishna Rao Jaisim sir indeed it's a pleasure to have you here sir so you are inspiring to the young architects and like I mentioned, the very next set of award category we have is the special category, Architect of the Year 2021 from Gujarat presented to Architect Ishwar Gehi, Ishwar Gehi Architects. Dr. Savita N.S. is selected to receive special up here appreciation letter from jury of her keen interest in architecture and design domain in successfully monitoring and shaping her design construction and design presented to Savita Satyas Prasad NSG design and construction may I kindly request the beautiful lady in the red sari to please come over on stage to receive her award top and 10 most inspiring architects of the of India 2021 presented to Manjula Somashekar Pragati Associates. Congratulations to you, ma'am. Top 10 most prominent architects of India 2021 presented to Kashif Hassan, TCA Consultants Private Limited. May I kindly request top 10 most promising architects of India 2021 presented to Anup Nayak, Urban Frame Private Limited. Approach in entrepreneurship and leadership presented to Mahesh Krishna Chari Bevra Architecture. Congratulations! And yes, to all our special awardees here, you, you all look so beautiful and elegant and handsome. Okay, I can go on giving you this wonderful prefix. I want you guys to really keep that charming smile so you are looking good in the picture. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have top 10 most visionary architect of the year 2021 presented to Mohammed architect Ahmed Nair ANA design studio private limited in the special category congratulations to you sir I, I would be very happy if you all come in together yes and uh, sure, <laughs> sure somebody's <is> taller <laughs> Okay, we have top 10 most pro prominent architect of the year 2021 presented to Jay Prakash Agarwal, Agarwal and Agarwal to please come over on stage to receive the award. And yes, top 10 most prominent architects of India 2021 presented to Dr. Alex Jacob, Alex Jacob Consulting Architect to please come over on stage to receive your special category award. A round of applause for the handsome gentleman out there. And I love your hair color. <laughs> Give a round of applause, please. 
ladies and gentlemen, the awardees here are from the special category awards for Architecture Excellence Awards and Conference 2021 presented by Big Enough Research Intelligence Private Limited. I want all of you to please come in together, come a little front, show off your award with all the achievements that you have. So. Trust me, a smile in the picture is going to make it look great. To the awardees out here, and we have gathered here to give away the Architecture Excellence Awards and Conference 2021 presented to you by Big Enough Research Intelligence Private Limited and this is your very own host for your beacon. We have left with some more special category awards and I'm quickly going to be announcing so may I kindly have the awards with me. Top 10 most prominent architects of India 2021 presented to architect Sri Devi Sri Ram Hi hierarchy architect and interior designer. Top 10 most promising architects of India 2021 presented to Raghavendra Hegre Urban Frame Private Limited. Outstanding contribution in architectural educational domain presented to architect Ashok Patil, corridor architects and interior designer. Sustainable design approach presented to architect Raghu and architect Bindu, MS Earthhive Architects. Okay, so we have Bindu ma'am who was sitting there and she was like, what is this girl doing? <laughs> Tell me one thing, what were you thinking all the time I was on stage because I could only eye you? What is that you were thinking? You are presenting very well. Thank you. I have heard them listen to them. I had a mic. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Architect of the year 2021 from West Bengal, Bonglo, presented to Debatosh Sahu from SK. All right, so we have the set of architects here in the special category. I would love that you both share it together and please kindly make this picture worthwhile and I want you guys to put on your charming smile for the picture. Okay, I only see Jetty ma'am who is clapping. Do we have other people in the house?
coordination of some fascinating young lady without a single error of whimper. For the last couple of hours, she's managed an extremely well coordinated. I know how difficult it is to stand and coordinate and get things and name after name. I've done things. But Fauzia, it was a remarkable, remarkable achievement. Wish you all the best. And do it more. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this coming from uh, Chui Krishna Rao Jaisam, sir, actually is really, really wonderful. So, yes, uh, this was your very own host, uh, Fazia P. Khan. <laughs> this was your very own host, Fazia P. Khan, with Architecture Excellence Awards and Conference 2021, presented to you all from Big Enough Research Intelligence Private Limited. This day was gracious because it was presented and curated by Pre Big Enough Research Intelligence Private Limited. And let me tell you all that I would be very happy if you all can please proceed for your photo sessions. Architectural Excellence Awards and Conference 2021 presented to you all by Big Enough Research Intelligence Private Limited. I want you guys to hold on because we are going to have our virtual awards to be given for Architectural Excellence Awards and Conference 2021. And this is your very own host, Fazia P. Khan. I'm going to be back right in some time. So until then, enjoy this wonderful day. And this event is actually done and complete setup is being done by Eventex and we are indeed glad to be this entire team who is focusing on doing the better from Big Enough Research Intelligence Private Limited, our event managers, Eventex and this is your very own host Fawzia P. Khan for Architectural Excellence Awards and Conference 2021 and with me I have the legend Sri Krishna Rao Jaisen sir and it's indeed a pleasure to have you here. Okay, so you know what? Uh, I haven't I actually. There was one time I did that, but yes, uh, Krishna Rao Jaisam sir wants a photo with the photographers. Okay, all the photographers in out wherever you guys are, please come in uh, together. Swati, you can call the photographers from there. Yes, please, please come in.
Ce? All right, to all our virtual attendees, a heartiest afternoon to you guys. And this is your very own host, Fawzia B. Khan, with Architectural Excellence Awards and Conference 2021, presented to you all by Big Enough Research Intelligence Private Limited. And the very first awardee we have amongst us is uh, Mir Ashfaq Ali, architect Mir Ashfaq Ali for Mir Architects Hyderabad, Telangana. With a round of applause, uh, let us give him a round of applause. A heartiest congratulations to you, sir. Can I have the next? All right, so the very next awardee, Mr. Architect Vedan Jain, MB Design and Consultants, Rudrapur, Uttarakhand, India. Congratulations to you. Architect Kunal Padhar, Principal Architect Designers, Thane, Maharashtra, India. Congratulations to you, Architect Kunal Padhar. Architect Akshat Garg and Architect Varsha Garg for Akriti D Dream Designers, Moradabad, UP, India. Congratulations to the team. Architect Anita A. Patil, Anita Patil Architects, Pune, Maharashtra, India. Congratulations to you, ma'am. Architect Akshay Bandarkar and Architect Aman Chand, Studio Habitat, Nagpur, Maharashtra, India. Congratulations to the team of Studio Habitat. Architect Nishant Omesh Desai, Omesh Desai and Associates, UDA India, Mumbai, Maharashtra, India. Congratulations to you, Omesh Desai and Associates. Congratulations to the team. Architect Prashant Sancheti, Prashant Sancheti, Architects and Associates, Aurangabad, Maharashtra, India. Congratulations to Architects and Associates. Architect Kartik Khurana and Architect Akshay Khurana, Lines and Thoughts, uh, Haridwar, Uttarakhand, India. Congratulations to the team of Lines and Thoughts. Congratulations. Architect Ms. Deepthi Bansal, Purple Studio, New Delhi. Congratulations to you, Purple Studio. Architect uh, Joy Kim C. Roderick, Purple Studio from New Delhi. Congratulations to you, sir. Architect Ms. Ban, uh, Banuja Dora, Amorphos Architects, Dehradun, Uttarakhand. Congratulations to you, ma'am. Architects Neha Thakur, Mohan Landscape, Pune, Maharashtra. Congratulations to Mohan Landscape. Architect Ajay Takavel, Mohar Landscapes, Pune, Maharashtra, India. Congratulations to you, sir. Architect Arun Thomas, Arun Thomas Architects, Kochi, Kerala, India. Congratulations to you, sir. Architect Moez Rahman, Moez Rahman Architects, Trishur, Kerala, India. Congratulations to Moez Rahman Architects. Architect Gayatri BM Design Crete from Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Congratulations to you, ma'am. Architect Mohammed Asik, Design Crete Mah Madhar from Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Congratulations to you, sir.
architect Amit Gupta, spacecraft architect and interiors Agra, Uttar Pradesh. Congratulations to you, sir. Architect Shishank Tripathi, Rizbam Studio, Delhi. Congratulations to you, sir. Architect Riyazul Samad Bin Mohamed Rustam Studio, Delhi. Congratulations to you, sir. Architect Debatush Sahu, a space. Congratulations from Kolkata, West Bengal. Architect Part Vaghela, Architect Shubham Dugara, Architect Brijesh Gajera, Next Step Architect Surat Gujarat. Congratulations to you, sir. Is this the second one? Architect Sahil Gajera, Architect Chintin Badiadra, and Aid Mohit Hatiwala, the design factor Surat Gujarat. Congratulations to you, sir. Architect Hardik Zalawadia and uh, Kinjan Katheria from 0.618 Design Studio Surat. Congratulations to you, sir. Architect Charmi De Depak Bhai Vora, Charmi Vora Architects, uh, Surendra Nagar, Gujarat, India. Congratulations to you, ma'am. Architect Nikhil Agarwal and uh, Architect Kuntal Vyas Agarwal, Resaiki Interiors and Architecture, Ghaziabad, Uttar Pradesh. Congratulations to you, sir. Architect Vineet Singhania Sharma and Architect Vishal Sharma, Confluence from New Delhi, India. Congratulations to you, ma'am. Congratulations to the team for their special category award. Top 10 Most Prominent Architect of the Year 2021, Vishal Sharma, Confluence. Architect Priyanka Arjun, Priyanka Arjun and Associates, Udaipur, Rajasthan, India. Congratulations to you, ma'am. Architect Aditya Kumar Singh, School of Architecture and Landscape Design, Sri Mata Vaishnu Devi University, Katra J, Jammu and Kashmir. Congratulations. Architect Shaheen Mystery, Shaheen Mystery Architect, Mumbai, Maharashtra. Congratulations to you. Architect Uday Garala. Craft Madness, Rajkot, Gujarat. Congratulations to the team of Cra Craft Madness. Congratulations to you, Uday, sir. Architect Sneha Mehta, Epitome Design Studio, Maharashtra, Mumbai. Congratulations to you, sir. Ma'am. Nishant, Architect Nishant, Pithala, Morphi, Morphimi, Architects, Hyderabad, Telangana, congratulations to you, sir. LNT Construction, Gorakhpur, Uttar Pradesh. Congratulations, Architect Kanishka Chaudhary and Architect Vipal Chaudhary Studio, Ergonomics, Delhi, India. Congratulations to the team. Architect Tapas Mandal, RT Designs, New Delhi. Congratulations for RT Designs. Architect Bhavan Patel, PBA Architect, Surat Ahmedabad. Congratulations to you. Architect Chaitanya. Padal Architect Kin Kinera Verma, Architect Radha Neela Studio, Inkscape for Hyderabad, Telangana. Congratulations to the team. Architect Pooja Rishikesh Joshi, Gulnar Architects, Pune, Maharashtra. Congratulations to the team of Gulnar Architects.
congratulations architect prashant paradava and ms shivangi paradava paradava design consultants and amdavad gujarat india congratulations to the team architect navin shah sephira blue architects amdavad gujarat congratulations to you Congratulations to Gaurav Mord Gill Global C Gurugram Haryana congratulations to the team Architect Shri Tiwari Design Tellers Group Jaipur Rajasthan congratulations to the team All right ladies and gentlemen congratulations to all our virtual awardees from architecture excellence awards and conference 2020 presented to you all by big enough research intelligence private limited 2021 i'm sorry excuse me all right to all our virtual awardees congratulations for being the virtual awardees for architecture excellence awards and conference 2021 presented to you all from big enough research intelligence private limited this was your very own host Fazia P Khan and once again congratulations to each and everybody who was a part of Architectural Excellence Awards and Conference 2021. Thank you so much. I'm going to take a leave and keep doing the good work and we will see you the very next time. Thank you.